Welcome back to McNulty's Book Corral. In today's episode, we're going to talk about a vintage western and a couple of new ones. So saddle up, it's time to ride the high country. And good morning everyone and welcome back to McNulty's Book Corral. Here is another episode from the far north uh, this summer. Um, I'm not sure when I'll post it. I am on the road again. I'm always on the road. Um, Jack Kerouac would be envious, would he not? Uh, but today I want to do something just a little different regarding uh, some books. I have three books here that um, uh, I'm, I've read up here in the North Country this summer, and I wanted to read to you the opening paragraph of each um, <clears throat> and talk about that. Let's go back to When a Man's a Man by Harold Bell Wright. This is really a classic uh, Western, almost really forgotten. Harold Bell Wright wrote... Um, Shepherd of the Hills, which was made into a, an excellent film starring John Wayne. And the, uh, this book was originally published in, uh, gosh, 1916. <clears throat> this is a 1930s reprint edition from Grosset and Dunlap. Um, for you book collectors out there, you know what I'm talking about. Grosset and Dunlap was the primary reprint publisher during that period. And they're equally as collectible as anything. I love the cover artwork. I'm, I'll do a scan. Anyways, let's get to it. I want to read the opening paragraph. Take a look at how this book is designed, by the way. The chapter headings have a, a drawing and so forth. Um, really nice. Chapter 1, After the Celebration. There is a land where a man, to live, must be a man. It is a land of granite and marble and porphyry and gold, and a man's strength must be as the strength of the primeval hills. It is a land of oaks and cedars and pines, and a man's mental grace must be as the grace of the untamed trees. It is a land of far-arched and unstained skies, where the wind sweeps free and untainted, and the atmosphere is the atmosphere of those places that remain as God made them. And a man's soul must be as the unstained skies, the unburdened wind, in the untainted atmosphere. It is a land of wide mesas, of wild rolling pastures, and broad untilled valley meadows. And a man's freedom must be that freedom which is not bounded by the fences of a too weak and timid conventionalism. When a Man's a Man by Harold Bell Wright, 1916. Really beautifully written, um, opening paragraph to this uh, excellent book which I forgot to check I'm sure it's available in a reprint somewhere um, and or eBay you can find paperback reprints I'm sure Harold Bell Wright one of America's forgotten writers is he I think pretty much um, and great writer um, didn't write an awful lot of westerns he wrote a few others um, one of the great best-selling um, writers during this period who became a millionaire along with others like uh, uh, Zane Gray and I think Jack London. Um, almost forgotten now. When a man's a man. So I'm reading the opening paragraphs. <coughs> Let's read WWJ and J.A. Johnstone. This is a new paperback on the market. Fort Misery, which just came out. I finished it. Great, great book. Um, let's read the opening paragraph of this, which is equally as good. Very sh a little shorter. West of the Arizona Territories, Tinahas Atlas Mountains, west of Opoki Ridge, west of anywhere. Fort Benjamin Grierson, better known to its sweating, suffering garrison as Fort Misery, sprawled like a superating sore on the arid edge of the Yuma Desert. A barren, scorching wilderness of sandy plains and dunes, relieved here and there by outcroppings of creosote bush, burr oak, and sage, and white skeletons of the dead, both animal and human. I didn't read that very well, but that great opening paragraph to a really great book, which is currently on the market for you to discover. Finally, Peter Branville, drawn and quartered, Bloody Joe Mannion, number seven. I've talked about Peter before. And chapter one of this great book just came out. Again, these last two are on the market currently. Chapter 1. Matt Severance drew rein on the shoulder of a low mesa. He thumbed his black hat up on his forehead and gazed northward 
toward the toy-sized buildings scattered on the sage-tufted plain far ahead. In a bowl, hemmed in by the towering peaks of the San Juan Mountains to the west, the San Sangria de Cristos to the east, and the bulwark gray shadows of the Sawatch Range to the north. I got a little uh, dry mouth today, so I'm kind of stumbling with this. Reads better <laughs> than I read it, okay? Great opening here. What, so, um... What's the the, uh, the common denominator here for these three books? All three of these books make reference to the landscape. This is something that is seldom talked about um, or that you don't always see with uh, fans, especially movie fans, who forget that the landscape is part of the story. Um, we are part and parcel to the landscape that we inhabit. And those pioneers, you know, when they came here and they crossed the Mississippi, that landscape became part of their story. And the best Western writers recognize that and they make reference to it. I'm not saying you need pages and pages of landscape descriptions, um, but to understand the landscape that they're going through, even if it's fictionalized, helps tell their story. And those stories come alive. Uh, one of the many reasons why I have said many times before, you're listening, right? that uh, the Western is America's greatest genre. It is literature's greatest genre. Uh, a genre that is uh, not given enough credit. Right now we do have a resurgence of interest in Hollywood and television and so forth. That's all fine. I'm all in favor of it. Um, now these are three mainstream writers. I also, um, going forward, you're going to see me promoting more independent writers. Uh, I think some of the best work is being done by independent writers. Uh, of which I count myself as a very small portion of that group. Uh, I don't write as much as everyone else does. Um, I have a very modest career. and Basically, I'm retired and I put out stuff now when I want to, and I'll be doing it under my own brand. More on that on a different YouTube channel coming up uh, later this year. But in the meantime, if you're looking for three very well-written westerns, Fort Misery, WWJ and J.A. Johnstone, Peter Brandvold, Drawn and quartered. Letty Joe, number seven. Collect them all. Um, and going back to the classics of lit. Earlier part of the last century, 1916, When a Man's a Man by Harold Bill Wright. In the meantime, my friends, I'll post videos now and again when I get to it. They will be infrequent. I do hope you're well, and I will see you again somewhere along the dusty trail. <laughs>